Oh, hey, hey guys. guys! Hello, everyone. Uh, we are making tacos. I have my taco shirt on. Feed me tacos. Oh! You just now noticed this? Yeah, yeah, just a little. Yeah, I'm, I wore my taco shirt for this special occasion. We asked you guys on the community tab to see what you guys thought we should make today yes. for this live stream. And you guys, a bunch of comments were tacos, which makes sense because Ronnie loves taco, but also today is Cinco de Mayo and we just thought that what better day to make tacos than today? And I think a lot of you guys agreed. So we decided we're gonna do tacos. Tacos, I love tacos. Tacos are my favorite. Um, I just wanna show you guys, we have some traditional Mexican pottery dishes here um, that our grandma got from Mexico. Um, they're really beautifully made. Look how pretty these are. They're so fun. They're look, really cute. Look at this one. The designs on them are so adorable. This one's really pretty. Look at this. I like wow. that one. And today we're gonna to be making the guac in this. In the mocajete. Um, this is made with, I think, volcanic rock. And it comes with this little, I forget what these are called. A pedestal. A pe pedestal. Pe mortal and... A mortar. Mortar? No. Doesn't no, I don't know what it is, but it's going to help mash the avocado and mash whatever. Oh, Candice says, oh yes, great angles and no audio issues. Ooh, yay, no audio issues. Yay. So yeah, we've got the professional live stream going on. Our dad, Paul, is behind us, or behind the camera. Right, right, right here. <laughs> He's right he there. is orchestrating all the camera angles. We even have... A very unique camera angle back here. Yeah, we've got this hopefully, one. Hopefully, hopefully the audio is still good. Yeah. Um, let's see if what people say. Do you want I, I think the, uh, how is the audio? Hope the audio didn't mess up. Cause some, for some reason, whenever we've done multiple camera angles for a live stream, whenever we switch the cameras, the audio kind of goes whack. But, not um, not anymore. Really? Yay. Okay. So. Um, don't jinx it. I know. <laughs> don't jinx it. We also have a traditional Mexican blanket here. We've had this for years. I have this. This was handmade. Yes. Um, and we're using it as a Didn't table Didn't you used cloth. to sleep? Um, or was that a mine one? was more pink and blue. I think this one was yours. Maybe. Um, because mine had more pinkish and blue. Well, maybe this was my, the one that I used to sleep with. But it was. it's just so beautifully made. Um, Anyways, very soft. Um, we've got our tortilla warmer holder. And, and just so you guys know, I've got the live chat pulled up on the phone. So if you catch me and Ronnie looking at my phone, it's because we are looking at what you guys are saying. Okay, so I'm pretty nervous. Should I do a poll and you, let people vote? What do you mean? A poll for what? To see, to see who's gonna catch something on fire first. No, we're pros at making tacos. We are, we're so good at making tacos, okay? Oh yeah. We're so, not really good at making like traditional meat because we can, we, re we kind of do like the Americanized way of taco meat, but um, yeah, so, okay. So, so basically everyone agreed that what Ronnie and I make for this stream is what we're eating for dinner tonight. And that means the entire family, grandma, yes. grandpa, mom, dad, me, Ronnie, maybe, maybe Aaron. Maybe John? I don't Maybe know. Maybe Guppy? Ooh. Guppy? <gasps> I asked I asked the poll, who will fail first, Veronica or Vanessa? Oh my gosh, what are people gonna say? This is gonna say so much about what the audience thinks about me and Nessa. Anyways. All right, well, I think um, first things first, I need to put my hair back because I don't want hair. Yeah, hair. I already washed my hands, but I just realized I touched my face. I don't want my hair getting in the food because my hair falls a lot, so. Sorry, I'm washing my hands. They can see you over there. They can see me back. Hair tutorial, oh guys, watch. You can watch a hair tutorial on how I do my buns. Are you gonna go to the yeah. back? Yeah. Okay, ready? Here's how I do my buns. Oh, I take. Come closer to the camera. What? Go, go that way. Oh, oh my gosh. Gee, okay, nice. your hair is really long. Okay, so I go like this. I twist it. 
and I just circle it around like this like so well take the last part of it twist it kind of tuck it in under everything hold it with my thumb while I put the hairband on and then it magically stays Boom. that's what I did with my hair but because my hair is shorter it kind of is kind of everywhere it's okay, okay though. so all right what kind of tacos are you guys making you need to wash okay. my hands we oh, are yeah. making I think we're making beef tacos so we're gonna do a ground beef and then my mom also bought some steak so like a carne asada um uh, where is it? This carne asada seasoning is so good. It's delicious. It's delicious. It has um, uh, salt, paprika, sugar, garlic, uh, citric acid, spices, onion, black pepper, uh, and then like a couple preservatives to keep it whatever. But oh, it smells so good. So I'll probably put this on the carne asada um, and then Nessa might just do traditional like taco seasoning packets. No, I'm gonna do it from scratch. Are you wanna do like cumin and like... Yeah! Woo! So okay. here's, here's the ground, the ground beef and since we're cooking for the entire family we've got two pounds right here. And then this is what my mom... We also said. like, we also like leftovers. So this is for, this is meat from a Mexican uh, supermarket. And it's for tacos. It's beef carne asada for tacos. We're all oh, wait, it's already flavored. Which I don't oh. need to put seasoning on Do it. Do you want to, my mom, she got two different types of car, carne asada. Do you want to use the one that's not seasoned? No, I want to use the one that's seasoned. Okay. So let's see what it looks like. I don't know about you guys, but raw meat sometimes kind of freaks me out. Oh yeah, it's pretty seasoned. Ooh. Yeah, I'll just use that. I'll just. That's not seasoned. What's the orange stuff? Oh, maybe it is. It is seasoned. Yeah, I'll just use this and I'll put it in a pan. That's easy. Okay, so if you want a good seasoning though, this is pretty good stuff. This is a Chef Merito. You wanna hold it up to the camera? Look really close. Mm. Over your face. There we go. There we go. Okay. And I'm gonna be making some, some rice, but the way that my like grandma and mom make it, it's not gonna be white rice, it's gonna be like a Spanish like rice. Like a, a different version of Spanish rice, which I feel like we should probably uh, do, do that first. And I, I prefer black beans, so I'm gonna be making beans. But I don't know if I should make them fancy beans or plain beans. You wanna, you wanna do a poll? For fancy beans or, cause fancy beans just means I'm just gonna cut up some pre-cooked bacon and onions and throw it in with the beans and seasoned salt. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the rice because- Wait, what? that's from the beans. Oh. <laughs> the beans are gonna cook really fast. You could do that even last, you know? Okay. So, okay, so well, are people saying fancy beans? I think the it's funny because I think the comments are a little delayed. Oh, okay. I had it on, I had it on low well, latency mode. Are they saying, what are they saying? Fancy beans? I think people are saying by and large beans. Wh what? Fancy. I think you're saying fancy. What did you say before that? By in large numbers. Oh, that, I, don't know, I heard something else. Okay, kind of. So I want to just. So what do you want me to do? Well, you what could cut I do? up. You could cut up the tomato and onion. Okay, so I'll right just now. do that. Yeah. Okay. So Ronnie's gonna cut up the tomato and onion, which is gonna go in the rice. Um. Okay. So we're gonna do two cups of rice since everyone's gonna be eating it. So with this rice, you, wow! Sorry, just, oh my. Was that a fail? Were you the first one to fail? 
No, sorry. Is that a fail? No, there is no fail. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do we're gonna do two cups of rice because um, there there is a lot of us. Okay. Wait. I heard that if you cut an onion. Hold on. I think technically that's a fail, Okay, you, it's fine, it's not that, it's not a fail. Okay. Alright, so, so, um. <laughs> what are you doing? Repent, onion! I don't know. <laughs> what? I heard that. <laughs> I heard that if you yell at the onion. No, if you get a wet paper towel and you put it by the onion. The, the gases that are released from onion try to look for moisture and the quickest place for moisture is your eyes. So that's why onions typically irritate people's eyes because it's looking for moisture. So I heard that if you take a wet paper towel, when you're cutting an onion, it'll go to the paper towel. Okay, so I might, we'll I might, so I'm doing our family's rice recipe. So I've got the two cups of rice in here. Now I'm gonna put some oil because you have to uh, let the rice turn golden. Okay, so I just put in a little bit of a canola oil. You guys wanna know where the pole's at? So I'm getting ready to make it in. What are people saying? Sure. So, so who will fail first, Veronica or Vanessa? I think they voted for Vanessa. 58% of the people said Vanessa would fail. <laughs> oh no! And you did fail. You failed first. You, you met, people are saying you messed up with the rice already. It's so not go, oh, messed up. Oh, but you go, oh, uh. That doesn't mean it's a did, fail. Did some miss? Well, like little pieces fell out. <laughs> but that's not a fail. I think it is a fail. Okay, I'm in the poll. 58% of the people said it. Well, So we're going to uh, start. So we just have to. You see, I'm how not the good. rice. There's like oil in here. You just gotta let the rice kind of. Uh, I guess saute. It ha ha where did when you go to the sink? Where can they hear me from the um, main mic? I mean, I could turn that mic on on the camera, but they can hear you fine. Ask if they can hear you. Can you Ask can they hear you? Can you guys hear me from over here? Maybe. Can you guys hear me? Wow, this here? chat is. I think you just need to reload this. There we go. That's all you needed to do was just reload it. It was just kind of behind. Oh. Oh yes, you can. Great. Okay. Um. We still love you, Ness. It's okay. What the heck? Yes. Yeah, see, people are saying you failed. I oh think my they gosh. Said, I think they thought I failed because you said it was a fail. There is. You, were, you went, oh, 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 and then you made a face. It doesn't matter what sound effects. That doesn't mean it's a no, fail. The, the fact that she she made a funny sound to me says she failed. Well, that's oh, well you. then, ah, uh, then does this mean I fail? Ah! <laughs> yeah. If you go, if you do that, that's ah, fail. my onion. The question was who will fail first? And oh my gosh. Weird. I don't I don't think it's nice that everyone's you're blaming Nessa. Keep an eye on Nessa, she's gonna fail again. Oh my gosh. Hey, this uh, technique is working so far. Really? People are saying poor Nessa. <laughs> yeah, poor Nessa for sure. Yeah, poor me. I hate cutting onions. My grandma has a really good technique. My technique is I to just. A, I have a technique. My technique is just to chop. Okay, so update on the rice. It is not golden brown yet, so it still needs to like fry a bit more. So we just gotta let it let it fry a bit more. Okay, Anna likes the onions. Uh, people are saying there's no fail yet. They're just You're saying. You're not reading the comments. Okay, um. Here, take these onions. 
Okay, I think. Take oh, it. Not, not yet. We. Ah! <laughs> ah! My eyes! You failed. No! <laughs> Stop! I don't know what's happening. Absorb the moisture in the napkin, not my eyes. All right. I think. Onion begun. I don't know. Help. Okay, we still have to let the rice. The rice is going to take a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to make some water. Tell a dad joke, Paul. Yeah, everyone just keeps saying poor Nessa. Okay, yeah. poor Nessa. Okay. Hey, talk about a bad stream. This is it. This is not bad. What do you want to talk about? Okay, here's how you cut an avocado. No, because it's funny. You no. didn't even respond. No. They said a dad joke, and I did it. Okay. I so, um, so what I do to cut my avocados up. is I hold it, and then I kind of go from the top. Whoa, why is this not cutting? Okay. You go from the top, take the knife, and twist the avocado. Oh! Anyways, and then there's your avocado. And then to get this little thing out, you take your knife and kind of hit it, and then it's out. So same with this one. Boop. But that, be careful with that part, because that part can get a little tricky. I am cutting up tomatoes and onions for the rice. Um, I am using a Roma tomato, in case anyone is wondering. Not a normal tomato, a Roma tomato. Versus a normal tomato. Romas are like oval and tomato normal tomatoes are like round. So Okay. I don't know if you guys can tell but Ooh, hot. Whoa. I should not have used the giant knife. Some of the rice is uh, gold getting golden. <coughs> you okay? Mm-hmm. Golden rice. Okay, we might have to hurry up a bit with the tomato chopping. Whoa! Okay, you didn't tell me that. Um, can you please hand me a spoon? How big spoon? To the left. No, the one to the left of that one. To the left of that one, please. They're the exact same no. size. Look. I just like it. Wow. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So we're gonna. Do I do I have to wet this? Wet what? Do oh. I wet this? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the onions because I don't I don't know if you guys can tell, but the rice is okay. now. Like I wonder can I grab this? Yeah. Just be careful. I don't know if you can tell, but the rice is getting golden. Can you see it? Yeah, they can see it. Don't burn the camera. Ah. Oh, you can see me now. Hi, everybody. Oh. How's it going? Oh, what? <laughs> oh, we don't. We don't want that. Just pan it over. It's fine. Okay. You don't have to see me. All right, Ronnie. Time to uh. Now we need to. Oh. Okay. How much onion do you want? Oh, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Put that in there. Okay, and then we're gonna need a tomato soon. Soon or now? Soon, probably like in a little bit. We have to let the onion saute. This is some crispy rice. Cutting up tomato, cutting up tomato. Ooh. Well, you said tomato. Yeah. Okay, back to my Google walk. Well, I feel like a lot of a uh, a lot of the dishes that we're gonna eat tonight. Oh man, something got in my eye. Uh, have a lot of onion in them. Yes, they do. Cause we're gonna make pico. Are we gonna make guac with a uh, onion or no? No, we're just gonna do guac by itself. I don't know if that's how much tomato you need. Scoop it out. Okay. 
I, my least favorite part about cutting a tomato is like the tomato innards. Okay, Ronnie, I need you to hurry up ah. with the tomato. Ah. I need you to put it, like, I need it. I need, I need it. The, the, the rice is getting pretty more brown, look. Ow! Oh man, I wish you guys could smell that. It smells delicious. Oh. Okay, this poor little guy. Should I throw him in there? Yeah, throw him in. Uh oh. I stopped the camera. What do you mean? I stopped the camera? No. I have to change the battery. Oh my goodness. Oh. Alright. Tomate! Yeah, Hold oh. oh. on. Oh. Nothing. Nothing happened. You didn't see anything. Uh-huh. Somebody failed something. Uh, this rice is going to be a little bit on the brown side. Because my Why tomatoes were not down? done enough. Turn it down. I did. Uh. I'm going to put in a little bit more. And then... We need the North Pizza. Yeah, no. Oh, wait, this is Nors. Chicken bouillon cube. Okay, so. Wait, why are you looking at me? I'm trying. I have something in my eye. Stop. Go back on this one. Okay. So, for now, so you guys can see how the rice looks. Pretty golden. Now need four cups of water. There is something in my eye and it won't. What should I do? I guess I can cut up more onion. So I can, uh. Wait, what's not good? It's just, it's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> One. Okay, there's, there's a little bit of onion for the beans for later. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands. Should I start on the meat? What should I do? Maybe. I don't know how much to add in here. I don't wanna add a lot though. Maybe it needs a little more than that. Oops. Okay, that's it. Fail. It's not a fail. Okay. Um, I guess I can put the onions in here. Just because, like, if I'm going to... Oh, you know what I'll grab? I'll grab some bacon. Well, I really hope those tomatoes were sauteed. Okay. So, two, two cups of rice equals four cups of water. So this is pre-cooked bacon, but I don't think I should cut it on the things. This is my weakness when I cook. I just like don't know where to put things this is or what, what to do with them. This is what the rice looks like now, guys. See, looks kind of like some soup. But you gotta let the rice you have boil. To let the rice like boil and soak up the water. What are you doing? I was in the shot. You know what? I'll just cut it on here. It doesn't matter at this point. I'll just... I'm just going to cut the bacon here. I'm going to finish doing this. I think one of the little... Just so everyone knows, this has already been cooked, but then it was like refrozen. Okay, okay. So are we like doing pico too, Nessa? Yeah, I think so. No? Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so. Look at that guac, it looks so good. Okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna mush it up. First, first a trick that I do to help mush up the guac is I kind of just take the knife. I kind of take the knife and I just kind of like, kind of loosen up the guac so then it kind of smushes better when you go in to smush it with like a spoon and stuff. So, let's see. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, ready? Whoa, it's mushing. It's mushing. Whoa, this is really easy to mush it with. I hope I'm doing it right. I think you are. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. Yeah. So, we're not going to do a lot to this guac because I love kind of like simple guac. Clean. So I've got, because you said that making beans does not take as long. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook these. I'm going like, to fry it and yeah, saute it. But so we get a little closer. So I'm just right. prepping it, prepping it all. I think I need another avocado. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not really a lot of guac. Here we go. One time I cut myself really bad cutting an avocado because I did this. And when I like went down and it hit the seed, because here, watch, like, look, like that's where it stops hitting, like hitting the seed. Like I can't, can't go any farther. I had my finger like right here, and it went, it just sliced my finger. So kind of what Aaron did with the. Yeah, kind of what Aaron did. Okay, I like to do this to my avocados. I like to just kind of cut it inside like little cubes. You do this. Everyone has their own ways. So then when you like scoop it out, it's already like cut up. Mm. See? Watch. See? Oh. And then. Also, when you put lime in the avocado, it helps it from turning brown quicker. Because I don't think this is efficient. What do you think? What? No, actually, that's it definitely good. is. It mushes it up hardcore. Okay. Are you going to add salt? Or? Yeah, I'm just going to do salt and lime. Oh. Excuse me. Okay. There you go. Okay, so then you take your lime and like massage it. Roll that lime out. Oh, I don't have the lemon or the lime squeezer. Hold it's on. Fine, you guys. I got it. Okay. Alright. Can you grab the cup too, please, with it? What should I do for the beef? I guess I'll just do this one. Got myself a pan. Whenever I hold a pan, I always think of uh, the scene in Tangled where she hits uh, Flynn with the pan. Flynn Rider. Eugene. Eugene. You're my new dream. That scene always makes me cry. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Yes. It's one of my favorite movies. Okay. Lime is cut. Do you want me to cut it? Oh, you mean rolled out? I rolled it. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, what I meant. That's fine. Okay. There you go. Then... Okay, what should I do? Start the, the cut some. Should I cut the just... Or we should start the meat, and then you can cut the uh, cilantro. I should start this meat. I'm a f okay. So guys, look at this. Ready? You squeeze it. 
<sighs> Squeeze the lime and, and then look, then it collects all the juice and then you just go boop. Nice. Cool, right? It, I feel like it's a really nice like way to get all the lime juice. And I like to put in a lot of lime to my guac. I'm scared to cook this meat because I've never cooked this type of meat before. But I'm just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna do it. Alright guys, get my knife in the oops. Get my knife and then I chop. Pour some guacamole. Get a lime and then I, what is it? Uh, get a lime, lime right squeeze on and I chop. Pour some guacamole. Okay. Um, here we go. Ripe, right, not really hard. Okay. Extra soft, not can extra come, hard. Can go closer? No, because Ness is going to take that spot. Which spot? Ness is going to use that. Oh, for, the, the rice. Me. I forgot about it. I was just going to say one more over. Okay. I think they let the rice boil a little bit. Okay. Okay. Here we go. This is what this meat looks like. I think I need a bigger pan. It's too late though, I've committed. No, you're fine. I committed! Oh, I okay. the salt. Not a lot of salt. I don't like salty guac. I like limey guac. Okay, that is cooking. Here's our tortilla pan. Put that here. I think I should start on the beans now. Do have some oil? Okay. Uh, wait. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cover the. Uh, ah, out of my way. I'm gonna cover the, out of my way. the rice now. Because it's been boiling for a bit. Cooking this on medium. Okay guys, the guac is done, I think. I'll wash my hands after this, hold on. Okay, I think that's mm. enough. Okay, I, I got a good sized pan. Let me... You know what, we'll save the tortilla pan for a bit. the lime juice. Okay, so what do we need? Ooh. What else do we need to do now before? Nessa? That is so freaking good. I love limes. This is gonna I'm going to start the, the meat. Okay, this is going to cook quick too. Okay. Oh, oh carne asada. Should I cut up some cilantro? So I ask people, do you love guac? Do you love guac? What do, what do you think the percentage of people is that didn't like guac? 40%. 40% of people probably don't like guac. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think it is? Yes. Like 37. You were closest. It's 27% of the people don't oh, like okay. Well, that's a thousand good. votes. That makes me happy because guac and avocados are such a good, like, it's so yummy. I, I, I like it. I'm not going to be one of those people who are like, oh, you don't like guac? Because I hate it when people do that. Isn't that such like a big, like, it's a pet peeve of mine. It's like, if you don't like something and someone makes a really big deal about it, mm -hmm. oh, it's just like, like, especially if I haven't seen like a movie. Like, there's been times where I haven't Ooh, it seen it. 
Oh, really? Don't like there it. are times where I, I've seen, like, I haven't seen a movie, and someone will be like, oh, you haven't seen that blah, blah, blah? You haven't seen that? Oh, my gosh, have you been living under a rock? And it's like, no, I just haven't seen it. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, and then, then it makes you feel stupid. Wait, hold on, I have not been reading. I have not been reading the chat. What's going on? What's happening? What do you mean? People are saying, someone, like Elena Moreno says, let them be, we have different ways and it's okay. What's happening? What is the different way? What, what is the different way? What am I doing wrong? Y'all should try garlic in the guac. I have before. Not today. Not everyone likes garlic in the guac in this family. I like garlic in the guac. Well, you may not like it, but someone else does it. Okay, where are the can openers? People in the comments fail. I don't even know what they're saying. What are those comments? Did you know? Oh, if you could tell me where you got the lime squeezer, that would be great. So this lime squeezer is from William, William Sonoma. And they also have a lemon squeezer like that too. Okay, you're making lots of meat. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a, uh, there was once a study about like how there are a lot of teenagers in the United States that do not know how to open a can. Like they were given a can opener and like literally, it was a Jimmy Kimmel interview and they did not know how to, how to do it. I hope none of you are that person. I hope you guys know how to open stuff with cans or can opener. Okay, do you have another musher? I need a musher. I'm making refried beans, everyone. I don't know what I'm doing, right? This is what this is. What my mom said to do. Just kind of mush them as you're cooking. My grandma does a very good job at refried beans, though. She does like pinto beans. I'm just gonna try. Honestly, this meat that looks kind of weird. Is it just me? rice is that you let it boil for a little bit and then you cover it that's part of the recipe wow that's so brutal it's been passed down for generations you guys can do your other rice that way but not this Spanish rice I don't know I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm doing! That is a lot of meat, but for family, yeah. And then what we do is we do leftovers. Like we, we do a lot of leftovers. It's kind of like meal prepping. You make a lot of meat, and then you have a leftovers of it. You know? Yeah. Does this look like refried beans to you? <laughs> Daddy? What? Daddy! Does mean, this look like refried beans? No, I need your judgment. Yeah, it does. It looks good. I'm trying to show it. There, show it. I can barely show it. 
it because as I tip it, it whatever. Show it with the other camera, the third camera, that one. Like just grab it. Oh, I don't want to show it because it doesn't look that yummy. Okay, fine. <laughs> you guys don't know how to make fresh beans? You mean the hours of boiling beans? No thanks. We do it the we do the lazy way. The lazy way. Okay. Honestly, this isn't looking too bad. This Guys, how it looks like. It looks good, Ronnie. Does it? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's you're doing really the bad. meat wrong. Yes. <laughs> How in the world am I doing the meat wrong? I am cooking it. It has to cook. This is how we do our meat. This is how I don't you understand. Meat. Look at me, multitasking. I keep flipping it everywhere. Look at me. We see you. Turn the meat heat up with. It is up. That's up. You have to ignore you what? It is a lot of meat, you guys. Why are there two types of meat? Because we're making two different types of tacos. We're making carne asada and then just like carne normal taco meat. Carne asada and then taco meat. Just like the, just, uh, what is it called? Like, just beef? Gosh, I this hope I do not fail every one of this. Okay, I think I'm done with the musher. The musher has to go. Okay. Why are they making so much food? We're making dinner for the family. That's six people, guys. <laughs> well, is John and Aaron coming over too? Um, I think so. Oh, then yeah. that's eight. That's eight people. If it's John and Aaron, that means that's eight people. You're telling me I'm gonna make less for eight people? Alright, I'm just gonna put a pause on this. Okay, does anybody want to see this? The outcome of my refried beans. Just put some in a spoon and take it over to the camera. Oh, no, here. It won't go that far, does it? Oh my I'll god. I'll take goodness. it here. This is my refried beans. <laughs> they don't look very appetizing, to be honest. It also looked refried, but you know what? All, all that, all that matters is I'm trying, and I think Nana would be proud of me. She would be proud of you for sure. And then she would be like, mm, "More salt." <laughs> well, this meat looks like it's um, pretty much done. I'll let it simmer just a little bit more. I have this on medium, so it doesn't like. Uh, splatter everywhere. And let's see. Let's try this. You don't stir the rice. Guys, I've made rice so many times before! Stir! Wow. Someone's upset. Maybe I need to stop reading the comments! I think what Nana does is she transfers the beans. She lets them boil. It's all day. And then she puts them into a pan. With oil, yeah, and, and then that's why it's called refried because she's refrying them. Also, yeah. guys, the rice is not white rice. Well, it's Spanish rice. Look at that. It still needs some cooking, but it's almost done. I'm gonna put a pot on this. Put this back here. Okay. So, what do you think of this meat? This smells good. This is oh my. I'm excited about this meat. I'm never making taco meat again on a live stream. Wait, why? N now are people upsetting you. Now people are telling me to, I should have done it in two batches, guys. You should have done the big pan. I just needed a bigger pan, and I, but the big pan covers it. I wanted people to see oh, what I see it what looked you mean. like. Guys, it's almost done. It's not that big of a deal. You want to know what the poll is? Okay, what's the poll? Poll. Who, who, what do you think won? Limes or lemons? Lemons, actually. I think a lot of people like lemon more than lime. Mmm. 52% like limes over lemons. Oh! So, but it's really, really close. 
was 48%. Mm. Poll is ending. Interessante. Wow. You guys like limes. It's good. This is a really nice, like, can opener. <laughs> I'm hungry, you guys. I'm hungry. Okay, Vanessa, I cook the meat. Cut some onion in cilantro. cilantro and tomatoes. Okay. Can we just leave this tree? You guys just totally leave the whole thing. That's why I need my own camera. Sorry. Where? Hey, wait, where did Nessa go? Um, she went over there. I have to change the battery in this camera. Okay. Part of the recipe for my tacos is, um, I'll show you. Cilantro. Okay, here's a good question, Daddy, right. to put for a poll. Let's do it. Um, do you think cilantro tastes like soap? Okay, here we go. Because there's a lot of people like soap. Yeah, a lot of people will say that cilantro tastes like soap. They're crazy. Cilantro does not taste like soap. It tastes like cilantro. Oh, you're missing my cilantro technique. Also, what? Huh? Okay. So you're missing my cilantro technique. Oh. I have a new graphic, a new poll. Look now. Cilantro technique. Wait, you can't even see what I'm doing. Well, now I can. Just hold on. How's that? I just showed everyone my cilantro technique, it and it was just it was just it covered by a new poll. Sign vote sign. now. Everyone vote. Wow, Ronnie, your skills are amazing. Thank you. How you doing, Nessa? Just making the meat more like minced, I guess, like more like ground beef. But it's pretty much all cooked. Mm. People, for the people who underestimated me, it is all cooked. I have to mince it up more. But I'm actually going to, uh, You're showing me and doing nothing. I'm gonna do a Okay, so I've placed the cilantro in this little dish so when everyone makes their tacos, they'll be able to sprinkle it. So now I gotta do that with onion and I'll put it on this plate. Here's my other half of the onion I have not chopped up yet. Probably should have done the onion first. How's it going, Nessa? Good. I'm just going to use one taco packet and then I'm going to add in the seasonings. Oh, you know what? I was going to put meat on something. Nessa, which bowl are you wanting for the meat? Whatever. Because my... Mine is a lot. Mine's not that much. Well, maybe the, whatever the bigger one is. Well, yours, you... There's like three big bowls, but I know that you were planning on grilling some meat, right? Grilling? Daddy was going to grill some meat after this, right? Am I? I don't know. Uh, our family, me, Ronnie, our mom, dad, then our grandma, grandpa, and then maybe John and Aaron. Did you forget Aaron's name? No, I couldn't lift my finger up correctly. Time to cut this onion after I rinse this off. Okay. Look at 
that meat. Alright, let's see what it needs. I don't like this layer of onion. Whoa! Whoa, baby! A lot more flavor. Flavor! We're gonna do another taco packet. Oh. We're gonna do another taco packet. Oh, I need to check the rice. I think the beans, the beans are done. Turned out so good. I had the beans on simmer. Guys, look. See that? That rice is done. Look at that. That looks good. That looks so good. <laughs> For all you people out there, this is not. Oops. That's not white rice. It's Spanish rice. Isn't it a Spanish brand too? No? Hello? Asking I questions? Think so. Wait, what do you mean a Spanish brand? Like the brand of the rice is Spanish, is yeah. it not? It is. Where is it? Huh? No, it's just normal rice. It's, it's just normal rice. Does anyone else make weird faces when they chop things? Yeah, I'll, I'll do a new poll. You guys want to know? Oh wait, oh yeah, do people like cilantro or not? Well, you asked, so do you think cilantro tastes like soap? And? And they said 80% of the people think it does not taste like soap. So 20%. So 20% of people do think it do tastes think like soap. That's a large number of people considering. Isn't that crazy? I think my chopping technique is wrong. I'm gonna get arthritis in my wrist. You're gonna get what? Arthritis. Arthritis, not arthritis. What is it? Arthritis. Arthritis? It's not arthritis. It's not arthritis, Ronnie. I thought it was arthritis. Arthritis. I've never seen it spelled out. Maybe I have. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, no way. Am I that dumb? Next poll. You know Who what? says arthritis, right? No, don't, don't make that a poll. Um, what was, what was the one we were going to do? What was the poll? No poll. Okay, I'm going to do it. No poll, no! Don't do that! Don't do that poll. Daddy! What? Don't! <laughs> I'm the one holding a knife! Ronnie, jeez! I'm kidding. I need to go get something really quick, so... Behave. Behave? Yeah, don't let anything explode. Just need something real quick. Okay. Let's put on the white top. That looks so yummy. Wait, Nessa, you it's not on you. Oh, never mind. What do you need? To be on no, me? I don't need it to be on me. Everyone is just going to criticize how apparently I make my taco. Alright, I got my onion, cilantro. Next, I'm going to do is the limes. Come on, Nessa. Okay. Okay, wait, I have a question. I'm gonna save the stems, because the stems of cilantro have a lot of flavor. Mm. I can see how people think it tastes like soap, though. I don't. Cilantro. I can see how people think it, especially if you eat it by itself. Okay, rolling the limes to get them juicy. Man, I made a mess. Also, I have this, we have heated lamps. Our uh, stove is pretty fancy. We've got heated lamps, so that's why I put that meat up there so it just stays warm. I'm gonna turn this off now. Okay, I wanna try the meat. Strengthen this. Okay. 
Oh wait, no. Gotta cut it this way. Alright. This meat needs a little bit more seasoning. Okay, I'm coming back and back. Where did you go? I just went and got the charger. Okay. Wow, that smells great, you guys. I, I know. It's really, in my opinion, I think it's a little hard to mess up tacos. But yet somehow you just might. This knife is not good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa, whoa. How do you do this? Oh. <laughs> Commenting it too. We trust the mods. Oh, you know what happened? Hmm. What did you do? No, I didn't do anything. I don't know why the sound would go out. Gosh, why was this so hard to cut? Okay. Okay, now Lime. another taste test of the meat. about this technique I'm about to do. Actually, hold on a second.
technique is done. The rice looks delicious. Whoa, everything looks so good. All these tortillas are cracked. Closer to the camera. Oh. All right. I kind of made a mess, but it's okay. All right. Um. Um. Do you want to put it over here? Put what? The, the tortilla oh. pin over here. I guess. So you can show everyone. Okay. Um. We got a lime cilantro. Did you want to cut up some little tomatoes? Oh, to put in the top? Yeah, here, I'll do that real quick. Okay, I guess so. Um, do we want to put the meat in like bowls and stuff to make it look pretty? Yeah, I think let's wait till it's all done. Just okay. let it sit there for a second. Okay, I'm gonna put the beans up there. All right. Here's how our grandma cuts the tomatoes. So you go like little lines across. Are you like making a pole or something? Okay, you go like lines across like that. Hey, can you zoom up, please? <laughs> you make lines across like that. Not all the way, but just like maybe halfway. Then you do lines diagonal or uh, the other way. So like Okay? So now you've got like this little tomato thing and then watch this ready. Hello? Okay. I'm watching. Ready? Then you go like this to your tomatoes and they're like all cut. Wow. Yeah. Right? It's a great way to do it. Great way to cut tomatoes. And all of you who cut it differently than this are wrong. Wow. We're running to the tortillas. Wait, no, it's done. Oh, I, my, my phone got turned off. Hey, how did you reload it, Ronnie? Uh, just exit out of the stream and then. Redo it. Mm. Okay. There we go. You made a mess over here. I know. Okay. All right. All right. If Ronnie and Nessa started a taco truck, what should their name be? It's a funny one. We'll, we'll, just, we'll have people vote for the best name. Ooh, come up with some good taco truck names for yeah. us. Taco Ronnie. I don't Ronnie Taco. I don't know. Tacos de Merrill. Tacos de Merrill. Merrill tacos? Ooh, I got one. I found one. It's a good one. We've got Taco Lovers Are Us. Taco Lovers Are Us. Um, what else? Taco About My Truck. Yeah. I'm going to make a poll. We'll have everybody vote which one they Two taco or not two taco? Twin tacos? Oh, that one's good because we're, we're twins. That one's cute. Twin, twin tacos. tacos. Ooh. What's another one? What was, the, what was the other one that you just said? Oh, here, wait, can you film this really quick? Yep. This is how you know when your flour tortilla is ready and it's being cooked. If it's puffing up, then that means it's pretty much done. Unless you want them burnt, which some people like them burnt. Wow. What was another one? Uh, I don't know. Twin my taco. <laughs> Uh, what is it? Twin. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We let it wait, wait till it's, we want to wait to see if it rises. Oh wait! 
Put it back on the plate. My angle. Take your so director. We need you to pay attention. Keep it rising. Disclaimer. If you've never made a tortilla on a pan before, don't use your hands. Oh, see, look. It's starting to bubble and starting to rise. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So this is so. only this only works with flour tortillas. Not so much corn. Because corn doesn't have the same ingredients as a flour tortilla. I saw a... Sorry, what? What? I saw a funny Ooh, tweet. No, I saw a funny tweet one time where someone said... Um, I'm, it's ca they, it's like there's a curse word in it, but I'm not going to say the curse word. But they, the tweet was, um, what was it? Spit it said, it, it said, do you flip your tortillas with your hand, or are you a little b word? And I just thought it was so funny because <laughs> that's just like, why would someone say that? Like. Like that is like what makes you like a cool person. What, what happened, Ronnie? <laughs> Nothing happened. Did you fail? No, it's just hot. <laughs> I just thought that was such a funny tweet. Okay, I'm gonna put the taco meat in here. I think. What is the bag for, Ronnie? What is the bag for? This? To keep the tortillas. Oh, hold on. Warm. This, this is the tortilla warmer. It keeps them warm. There's like some type of material inside here. Listen. Hold on. Sorry. Listen. It's like I don't know if it's like foil or a type of like heating device or like technology. It's I think it's like a foil, and it just keeps it warm. Baby tacos. Okay, I personally like corn tacos or corn tortillas. I don't really. I, I do like flour, but I'm more of a corn girl. <laughs> okay, I've made four flour tortillas for whoever wants them. Ooh. Okay, what? Hot. Grandma does this technique where she will just take a bunch of flour, I mean corn tortillas, and just stick them in the microwave, and that's how she heats them up. But me, I like to cook them one by one. Ouch. There we go. They are just hot. Okay. There's four. Now, what happened with this? I'm putting all the taco meat in here. So but I don't think. Garlic on the guac. Not everyone in our family likes garlic on their guac. Yeah, keep the guac simple. Lime, lots of lime, mm. and salt. These that seem old. is like, like the best way to eat guac. Garlic, no, thank you. I mean, like maybe on avocado toast, sure. But for tacos, mm -mm. there's already garlic in the meat. Okay, so a technique that we do when we're uh, when we're reheating up our flour tortillas, my grandma, she'll like wet them down and then throw them on the pan. You mean corn tortillas? Yeah, corn tortillas. Here, so I'm gonna wet these down. All right. Okay, I have four okay. options. So then now I'm going to throw them on. And with this, I will not use my hands. I mean, yeah, I will not use my hands. I will use a spatula. I will use a spatula. See? See how they're steamy? They're like these. I'm making them soft again. Okay, do not make any expressions so you don't, you don't have anyone, you don't sway anyone for this. But here are the options for your taco truck name. Are you okay. ready? Okay. Taco about my truck. Okay. Wait, 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 you're done. You're not done. Twin tacos. I like that. That's nice. What in the taco? What in the taco? And then tacos el tigre. <gasps> you made an expression. Okay, here we go. Everyone's gonna vote. I bet.
like you, everyone votes for twin tacos. What? Why would you say that? You're swaying people. I told you not to. I'm, I'm, that's my guess of what everyone's going to vote for. I just need to cover this. There we go. That works. Tortillas are never the best. This one's good. This one's not. Something happened with this tortilla. But what I will do is because my grandma and my mom really like their tortillas like burnt or like crispy. So I'll just keep them on here for a bit. Mm -hmm. I need to turn the heat up. Do you need the rice? Yes, I was going to put the rice right here. It's hot. Yep, I'll grab it. Okay, the rice will go right here. Okay, so I'm going to put the, hey, I'm going to move the tortillas over here. Okay, all right. And then, um, I mean, should we put the rice in one of these little bowls? Yeah, or one of the little bowls. Put it in that one. But I don't know where to put the other meat. You just leave it in there. Okay. Let me put the rice in this one. Here, take this. It's really hot. You're going to need another oven mitt. I am. Okay, okay. Hey. All right. All right. That's a big bag of tacos. Meryl taco, taco twin all day. Uh -huh. All right, let's see. Is this the one for th that this one for the rice? This one. For the rice? Oh, for that meat. I see. Yeah. I don't have one for the rice. Okay, these tortillas are kind of a fail. They were a fail? Well, because they're they're the first ones on the top. They've had the most like damage to them. Like, they're kind of. This one had a hole in it. What? Okay. So what are what are people voting for? Hold on. Hold on. Let me just see. See, look. This one kind of had like a hole in it. Wait. I would hold on real quick. I would really like to show people how this rice turned out. For all the rice haters out there. Look how awesome this rice is! It is awesome. Okay, not rice haters. Everyone was saying I was doing it wrong, but I wasn't. You cook this rice differently than like white rice. I can't see what I'm doing. Whew, I couldn't see what I was doing. My, 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 <laughs> my glasses got all fogged up. It smells really good. I think you did a great job. Thanks. I tried. <coughs> All right. Okay. It looks, oh, look at this cute little lid for the rice. Boop. Does it match? <laughs> yeah, it matches. Look, because you got this green right here. Um. Other carne meat in there, or is it enough to go in there? I don't know. I mean, ah! oh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Lisa. Um, well, I don't know either. But these tortillas are good. Okay, so we've got what in the taco? <laughs> to tell people to vote. Keep voting. What are they voting for? Well, what's the name of the taco truck? Well, the pole is not there, or I guess I don't see the pole on here. It's, it's there. Maybe remove the pinned comment? I did. I removed it. Okay. What about Pico? I wanted to see you guys do it. Do what? I mean, the Pico's pretty much right here. Zoom out. You can make your own topping. You got the I tomato, cilantro, onion, and lime. And our grandma made salsa, so... When you this cook is mild and then this is spicy. Because when you cook for six people, I mean, sorry, 
eight people, not everybody wants pico the way like we make pico. So you separate it out and that way everyone can like do their own little toppings. So you got the guac, tomatoes, lime, cilantro, I'm which turn that off for now. I love cilantro. Mm. Okay. That does not taste like soap. Why would you say that? Oh, oh. Quirky. oh no. Quirky. Do you want to come say hi? No. No, because you got your fur everywhere. Your fur. Where do you guys go? pulled out these really cute placemats, but I'll just do one. Boop. Okay, so here's our, here's the taco making station. Are we just leaving the car? Oh no, this meat kind of got a little, this one's a, I don't know about this meat. This one looks a bit on the chewy side, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, and then Let's there's beans. Why are you eating it like that? Cause it's chewy. I know, it, I think it has a lot of fat in it. What? The beans? The beans? Mm -hmm. Ouch! What happened? <laughs> the handle. It's hot? Oh, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. No, Ooh, it I, is touched, hot. I touched this part. It hot, hurt. It hurt my hand. It hurt. It hurt my hand. Here, put it on here. Actually, I don't know. I might burn no, it. it Here. Alright. We're coming to an end with our taco journey, you guys. Through all the ups and downs of people telling us that I'm cooking the rice wrong. When it turned out just exactly how it's supposed to be. And people telling me the meat was cooked wrong. When it turned out exactly how it's supposed to be. Mommy. <laughs> she said they look great. My mom said the beans look great. It was approved by a Wendy approved an official Mexican woman. <laughs> <laughs> So all the comments saying otherwise. Look, can you do a close up on my beans? That's the closest I can do it. They look great. You want to hand them to me and I'll put them in front of it? No, it's okay. Okay, Nessa, here's your plate. Here's mine. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Um. Um. Oh, can guess. you hand me two spoons? Oh, we need, yeah. Daddy. What? Can you hand me two, like one small thin oh, here, spoon? Here's one right here. Oh, and then a big spoon for the beans. Thank you. Okay, guys. We have tacos made for everyone. Tacos for everyone. All right, everyone. so this is the taco station. Um, I'm gonna grab my tortilla. Ooh, look at that. It's still steaming. I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, They're wow. still steaming because of the taco holder. Oh, this one might fall apart though. We'll Guys, see. I think this cooking live stream, I think it was successful. Was a success. Okay. So All right, I'm ready. Wait, what did everyone end up voting for? Here. Yeah, well, uh, what did everyone vote for? So coming in and last place, 13% taco about my truck. Uh, second to last, is Tacos El Tigre. Tacos El Tigre. Third. And the winner is, well, we did What in the Taco. What in the that Taco? Was number, that was second place. And the winner is Twin Taco. I called Whoa. it. Taco. I called it. All right. Okay, okay here we go. Excuse me. I'm covering the meat. Where are the tortillas? Oh, they're right there. Um. Okay, I put some taco meat in the taco, like that. Ooh, I don't want corn. You don't want corn? Like, you need cover like You don't want corn? I made flour. I know, I know. Okay, now I'm going to um, top it with some onion, like so. 
with my uneven chopped onion skills. Okay. And then we're going to do a little bit of a cilantro, like so. Um, I guess I'll just use my fingers for the tomatoes. Here. Yeah, do you have a spoon? Thank you. Okay. A little bit of tomato. Not too much, though. Tomate. Did you know traditional, some, I guess traditional tacos, this is what my grandpa told me, but... I don't know how true this is because I think if you go to Mexico, you can find tacos with this on it. My grandpa said originally tacos didn't have cheese on them. No, that is very true. Huh? It is very true. It is very true. Our, and that once tacos were introduced to here, people started putting cheese on them. And, and then and yeah. then people started adapting to put cheese on them. But No, because guys, in, in when we were in college, our, our Hispanic friends we made in college one day the, when I realized that cheese don't belong on tacos was when we went to a taco place with our our Hispanic friends and they're like this is the best taco place you'll ever go trust us and we go and I'm like okay I just don't want a taco with cheese on it because I don't like cheese on my tacos and they literally laughed at me they laughed at me and they were like there's no cheese on tacos. And I was like, uh, some, place, some places, some places do, do cheese with tacos. And, and they were like, haha, no. Here's my taco. So I was like, oh, Can okay. I go ahead and eat my taco? Oh, no, you have to wait. Okay, so I've put the guac on under first. Mine's gonna be kind of more like a burrito, but it's like, kind of like a taco. But it's more like a burrito. I don't know. Oops. Okay. I'm excited for this. Okay. There we go. I just need some off. extra limes. I put some. I think you need a little bit more salsa. There you go. Okay. My taco doesn't look as pretty anymore because I already folded it. Okay, are we ready now? No, no, no. no. I need another lime. Yeah. And then I need a fork too, please. And then we'll try the beans and rice. Oh after. yeah, we have to do the little sides of. Do you each want a fork? We do. We need. We need. Yeah, I need a fork. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, okay, there we go. Oh. Can we go ahead and try yeah, them now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cheers. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers! Tacos! Mmm! 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 I stepped on a tomato. Mm -hmm. Happy Cinco de Mayo! Happy Cinco de Mayo! Oh, this is really good. It was good. so good. Mm. This is delicious. Oh, that mm. is so freaking good. I can't wait till everyone tries it. This, the taco meat turned out perfect. For everyone complaining. Oh, now we need to see how the the beans and the rice taste. Mm, mm -hmm. After I finish my taco. Oh! I have a question for everyone. Oh. Okay. What? Would you try our tacos? Oh, I asked who wants tacos tonight now. Mm. Yum! Yeah. And the wasp! What? The wasp! The, the rice? <laughs> it sounded like you said wife! Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Ronnie. No. Hmm. Not that much. 
Thank you. I am just pot it making it smell or this lid making it smell weird. New pull. Oh. Beans. Okay. All right, all right. Sorry. Can read some comments? <laughs> all right, guys. Here's the rice. Time to see if it turned out like the the recipe that has been tr uh, uh, passed down for generations. Oh yeah, <laughs> that one turned out good. What just happened? Ooh, and it mix it with those beans. Oh man, I stuffed the rest of my taco in my mouth. It was so good. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, mm -mm. let me try some of this rice. Hey, those beans are good. So that's, that rice is good, right? You did good. No, that, that turned out really good. Mm-hmm. It's just because I'm like a really good cook, you know. Guys, uh, it tastes exactly like Nana's. Well, because I followed the recipe. Well, okay, I gotta try my beans now. Hey, not too bad, if I say so myself. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> I will say. Mm -mm. The one gene we did not get from our mom is the dancing side. <laughs> We're not that good at like salsa or the rest of the dances. Whoa, don't expose us like that. <laughs> but the real question is, how do the beans and the rice taste together? Really, really good. Together? Mm. I would prefer flour tortillas instead of corn. That's what mine is. Mine's a flour tortilla. Boop. Mm. Can't really tell, but it's flour. It, did you put stuff on your beans? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. I did. Oh, man. This is good. I can't wait for everyone to try it. I know. I feel like I'm eating it dinner before. before. I know we should have everyone try it before it gets too uh, cold. Yeah. What do you guys think of our tacos? I'm proud of us, Nessa. I think we did a very good job. Sorry. Did I hurt you? Also, um, you have guac on your face. What? <laughs> Ew, <laughs> Nessa! Ew, Nessa! Nessa! Ew, my seafood, gross. Ew! It's like right here under your glasses. Oh, there is a little spot. You can't, you can't really, really tell because of your glasses are hiding it. Someone zoom in on it. There you go, you got it. That definitely was guac. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. You guys, you guys don't understand how good this rice is. This is not like a traditional Mexican rice. It's like a Mexican Spanish rice. This is like my grandma's recipe. So this, it doesn't have like that very tomatoey flavor, if you know what I mean. Like most like Spanish Mexican rice has like a red, red like tint to it. But this is like, it's not, it doesn't have that. And whenever my grandma's made it for like events and stuff, the rice is usually the first thing to go because of how good it is, right? Right. Right. Exactly. And I made it exactly how she does. So my rice would be eaten first from if you all were eating with us. Take that rice complainers. Yeah, take that. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Well. Now put some hot sauce. Mm -mm. We got some of this. This salsa. I put salsa on it. 
It's almost gone now. That's homemade salsa. It's homemade salsa. Ronnie was going to make homemade salsa was, for the stream. I could have. It would have been fine, but it just would have been hot salsa. And I prefer my salsa to be cold. <laughs> I don't really want a hot salsa. What? Oh, I was just going to say, the poll, 91% of people now want tacos. Ooh, okay. I hope you get your tacos this mm -hmm. evening. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Um, thank you, everyone, for tuning in <laughs> um, <laughs> and watching this stream. We ha now have to feed our family. But this so, was a lot of fun, Nessa. I think we make a good team. Oh, oh, oh! There we go. Someone says sour cream. No, no. Yes. But if you are gonna do sour cream, it needs to be this sour cream. Ranch dressing. No, no. where is it? Oh, there. The crema. You, if you're going to do sour cream, you need to do the Mexican crema. Yeah, not not this normal one. sour cream. And mm. if you're gonna put. To, uh, cheese on your tacos, it better be cotija. What? Cotija yeah, cheese. It's really good. Cotija. If you're gonna put cheese on it. Um, Mexican crema. Oh, well, I'm glad a lot of you. <laughs> oh, Rina. What a nice comment. After all the hate I was getting for my rice. Thanks for clearing it up, Nessa. I had no idea about the Spanish rice. Glad to learn art, your culture. Oh, learn about your culture. You guys did a great on tacos, by the way. Thanks. I mean, it's just specifically this rice, which, look, other rices could be made differently, but this rice, this is how we make it in our family. And, um, Mm -hmm. I'm good. And it's a delicious. It's really, really good. So. You were saying that I should come try it, but maybe not. Come try. You want to try one? Yeah, it, it's no. going to taste like how we normally make them. I know. It's fine. I don't need to try it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, you should try my beans. Here, come uh, here. Try my beans. Actually, yeah. Just come try the rice and beans. I'll just try the rice and beans really quick. Because you know how the taco meat's going to taste. Because yeah. you've had it before. Okay. All right, here we go. You can use my fork. What? You, you can use my fork. What a cooking trying? stream without a fail. How did that happen? Hello, everyone. It's called being a professional. Being a professional? Mm -hmm. Did you want some rice? Oh, those are good, Ronnie. Yay, I did good. Mm. Okay, you can I think Nana makes my better rice. beans. I don't know. Those are really good. I like her fried beans. But she, I like it. I like hers when she makes them with the pinto. Mm. What am I trying to rice? Yeah. I've had this rice, I don't know how many thousands of times. It's really good. Yay! Good job, guys. Is the chat on the pink phone? Yes, it is. I've been reading the chat. Rice complainers, poor rice complainers, LOL. <laughs> Hello, rice complainers are put in their place. I bet you Nana and Papa will like this. There's, but you know, there is a difference in how to make like white rice. Like last night, I made white rice. Yeah, different and types of rices are made and, differently. Yeah, and you know, you, um, like you either, you can wash it sometimes, you don't have to, but they say it just is better when you wash the rice. But with the white rice, you do the same like amount of water in like cups, like one cup of rice, and then two cups of water for every cup of rice. And then um, you uh, boil the water first, put in that rice, and then let it sit, like as soon as it starts to like, as it's boiling, you put the lid on it and you don't touch it. That's how you, like, that's how we've done that. And then, like, if you want to make it, like, a cilantro lime rice, towards the end, when it's done, that's when, like, you add your lime and cilantro. So there's just different ways to make different rices. And I don't really think there is, like, a completely wrong way to do it. As long as it turns out to be edible, then yeah. Okay, well, can we see the guys? family eat it? No, because some of them don't like being... Well, some of them don't like being on camera anyway, so yeah. I think they'd get nervous knowing that they're alive. You don't have to boil your salsa. I boil, me and Nana boil our salsa. Yeah, there's many ways to make salsa, but yeah. we, in order to get this really red, like, coloring, 
It helps if you boil it. Lovely Yungi says, next menudo or mole? Menudo, so, no! Not menudo, but my grandma likes that. But my grandma has an enchilada recipe that, that she uses makes. mole. And it's really and good. And it's really, really good, so we could do that next time. That is a little more complicated than just tacos, though. We also have the things to make empanadas. We also know how to make fresh tortillas. We've done that before. All right, well, okay, I think we're going to let our family know that everything's ready, that way it doesn't get too cold. And we hope you guys have a great rest of your day and weekend. Thank you for joining us uh, on making tacos. Tacos are my favorite food ever. I can eat them every day of the week. Like, honestly. Like, if I don't get my tacos, yeah, then I feel it's sad. Like a major comfort food, you know? Like, anytime we travel out of the country and there's, like, places that don't have tacos, I get very sad and I get, like I call it, deprived. I get taco deprived for sure. Yeah. So, okay. Love you guys.